Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer and today we're going to have some fun. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to make holy water. Now, first of all, we've got to know why would we want to do this? So let's go down some avenues. When we look at churches and religion, they use the holy water as a connection to God or religion. This is in a church environment, which is religion, right? However, holy water, when we look at spiritualism, what that does is that we create holy water, which then expels and eliminates negative energy around us. Okay, same thing, different names, holy water or getting rid of bad energy water you, you name it whatever you like so you've got to remember here we're talking about energy not entities if you have an um, intelligent being like a ghost or worse residing in your house no amount of holy water or saging will ever work to get rid of it because they're intelligent so holy water works on non-intelligence okay big difference there okay when we use holy water in a church scenario what do they say heavenly father this is the blood of god and please come down and bless this person with this water okay the the priest resides over the water and what does he say well let's do it right now here is a glass of water oh i came prepared today for a change wow so if i wanted to make this into holy water today instead of just generic fluoride fluoride infested tap water which it is <laughs> guess what all i've got to do is a prayer if you're religious or something like an incantation or a law of attraction mantra affirmation that brings in the energy into the water so in a religious context, we may say, Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this water that I now possess. Please bless this in your name, in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, right? But when we get into spiritualism, this is where we say, I allow this water under the source, under the universal energies. Please enter this water and create this on your behalf. To be, become part of who you are so we say something like that and now there's something more interesting that we can do as well if you really really want to make this water even more productive <laughs> how about we add some sea salt now when you add sea salt please make sure that it is 100 percent natural not iodized salt okay so you just sprinkle your salt in there, okay? Oh, in it goes, some salt's going in there even with the shaker not being moved, okay? So now I've got some salt in there. So what this does is it now cleanses. Look, you can actually see it going in there. Look, I am putting salt in there. You can see it going in there. So now the salt, what's it doing? It's cleansing the water. So then when I use the holy water, which is coming, it works more effectively. So one, you've got to have water. Two, you may want to use salt. I use natural rock salt or sea salt. Okay, the next thing that we could add to our water, who's going to go there? Who knows what we can put in the water to generate more energy? crystals so i've got a couple here of my favorite crystals i've got a little rosy quartz i've got a little jasper i've got this little carna um carnelian i think it's called little yellowish one and i've also got a little green whatever he is dump them into your water as well what happens to crystals when they're in water energy is created they're like the conductor of energy in water. You know, waters amplify crystals and crystals amplify water. So if you want to make some really cool holy water, holy smoke, Batman, here you go. Put in your water with your crystals 
and add more salt. You can see the salt going in there, thank God. Ah, thank God. Okay, so now that we've got our holy water, we want to say a little prayer. And if you're not a prayer, um, praying type of person, you say an affirmation. Prayer is religious, affirmations are spiritual. So we say a little affirmation. Thank you so much to Universal Energies for allowing me to have this water. Thank you so much that I'm going to use this water for the goodness and the love of anything I use it on. Please allow me to create this as your weapon against all negativity around me. Okay? So you say your little mantra, your little affirmation of what you want this to be. You may want to take it to work and... Put it around your workspace to stop the bad energy of other paper, paper start again your co-workers people at work okay so then you would spray it around your um cubicle at work or near them and as you do it you say please use this i i dismiss all negativity around my space okay so what's a good way of doing that ha 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 i did come prepared today you may want to pour your salted crystallized water into a little water jug. Now, when you do it, don't put your crystals in there. Some people do put their crystals in there, okay? But now you've got your squirt bottle and guess what you do with it? You squirt around the area where you want to get rid of your negative energy. Why do they use holy water in a church? To get rid of all the negative energies coming into the church, yeah? Why do you think you get blessed with the water at church? Because that is cleansing us of all the negativity around us. Okay, so same thing. I stick it in a little water jug and I've got my red crystal here behind me. Pew, 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 pew. So now <laughs> I've just put my holy water all over my crystal. Yeah, it's all wet. Okay, it is. It's all wet. Okay, so... Now, my crystal sitting here is energized. It's amplified the energy coming out of it. Boo, 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 boo. Okay, so if you do use <laughs> filtered or natural spring water like I drink, you may want to put your natural spring water in here. Put in your salt if you want. Put in your clean crystals. Make sure they're clean because I don't want you getting sick. But guess what you do to the water? You drink it. Cheers. I'm not going to drink this because this is tap water with fluoride and other chemicals in it. So I'm not going to drink that today. But my crystals are in there and they're pretty happy at this point. But I will be tipping this out after I finish this video. So what do we do? Easy peasy. We are manifesting a physical energy force that eliminates bad and negative energy from around us that's the gist of holy water so you might want to put it into your little spray bottle and you spray it around your house but as you spray it you say your intention of what you want so as you spray it i'm not going to spray it because of all the electrics here on my desk but you might say with this holy water i create a barrier so no negativity may enter into my space. I create a space here of love. I create a space here of passionate um, empathy, sympathy, compassion, love, kindness, supportive, and most of all, forgiving and loving energy. Any negativity in here? You are now evicted. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> I won't be the first time I've done that. I use this like a little... Water bottle, pew, pew, pew. A little water gun, pew, pew, pew. Bad energy, pew, pew, pew. You're out the door. <laughs> I go around my whole house. I go around my car. I do all my crystals with it. And they just look at me like, oh, because it's the energy. You can feel the energy change when I salt all my crystals. Now be aware because there are some crystals that don't like salt. And there's a lot of crystals that don't like water, especially if they end in I-T-E, the ites, selenite. Okay, so be aware of some of them that don't like water or salt. Okay, 
But as for today, that's me. That's how you make your holy water. Please know if you want to contribute to what I do, I don't charge for all my free information that I give out. My PayPal link is below. Share this to your friends if they need to know how to make their own holy water. And I love you all and I'll talk to you all soon. Have a great morning, good evening or good night, wherever you are.